Electricity is one of the most important things that science has given to mankind. By nearly 300 years of research and development, electricity turned from a scientific interest into a daily necessity. Nowadays, electricity is one of the most important living tools. But when did this journey actually begin? And how did electricity become what it is today? Long before even anyone knew that electricity existed, people were aware of shocks from electric fish. Ancient Egyptian texts referred to this fish as the thunderer of the Nile and described them as the protectors of all other fish. Electric fish was also noted by ancient Greek, Roman and Arabic naturalists and physicians. Some cultures knew that by rubbing things like amber rod with cat fur, lighter objects like feathers could be attracted. Greek philosopher Thales made a series of observations on static electricity around 600 BCE, from which he believed that friction rendered amber magnetic. Until 17th century, electricity was just an intellectual curiosity. In the year 1600, English scientist William Gilbert wrote The Magnet, in which he made a careful study of electricity and magnetism. For the first time, he used the neo latin word electricus, which means like amber. This gave rise to the English words electric and electricity. Hey, before moving forward in the video, please like this video and share it with your friends. And if you want to watch more videos like this, please subscribe to our channel and ring the bell icon. Later in the 18th century, Benjamin Franklin conducted extensive research in electricity. He even sold his possessions to fund his work. In June 1752, he attached a metal key with a wet kite string and flew the kite in a thunderstorm. Electric sparks in the metal key proved that lightning was indeed electrical in nature. The early 19th century was a period of rapid progress in electrical science. Discovery of Volta's battery gave scientists a more reliable source of electricity. After the recognition of electromagnetism, Michael Faraday invented the electric motor in 1821 and George Ohm mathematically analyzed the electrical circuit in 1827. Electricity, magnetism and light were definitively linked by James Clerk Maxwell. The late 19th century was a period of rapid progress in electrical engineering. Thomas Alva Edison contributed in developing the commercial light bulb. Nikola Tesla contributed in inventing alternating current and many other things. These two even had a fight over DC and AC current, in which Edison did everything to stop commercializing Tesla's AC current, but now we use AC current for daily uses. In 1905, Albert Einstein published a paper that explained experimental data from the photoelectric effect. After the radio broadcasting started and television was invented, people started to use electricity for entertainment. With the invention of the first working transistor in 1947, a new era of electricity began, the era of electronics. The first transistorized computer was built in 1954. The first microprocessor was invented in 1971, and the development of personal computers started. In the late 20th century, people started using these modern devices for personal use. From 18th century to now, electricity was just an intellectual curiosity. Now it's like a basic need. We use electricity in everything, from daily uses to educational and medical uses. It has been possible only for those scientists and inventors who showed interest in this powerful natural phenomenon, without which we cannot even spend a day now. 